So this video is going to deal with testing aspirin purity and this falls under the umbrella of what we call characterization which is simply determining the identity of a chemical species and there are a couple of ways to do characterization one is to use some type of physical test like testing the melting point or the boiling point and we've done melting point already on aspirin and compare it to a known uh, number and we can also do chemical tests like NMR, infrared, UV reactivity tests or testing the pH so in this particular experiment for today we're going to do two things we're going to test pH as well as test aspirin purity um, we're just going to get three test tubes you're going to put uh, in one test tube you're going to put your acid uh, salicylic acid I'm sorry one test tube you're going to put your aspirin and then the commercial aspirin you're going to test the pH by dipping the pH paper down into the test tube after you do that you're going to compare the color that you see on the pH paper with the pH color chart which is shown here right, the color chart tells you if something is highly acidic or if it's basic and so at the end of that part of the experiment what you want to ask is what can I say about the pH of my aspirin how does it compare to commercial aspirin and then how much salicylic acid content is present because a high salicylic acid content usually means that the sample should be more acidic. So in the second part of the experiment, what we're going to do is test aspirin purity using what's called an iron chloride test. Normally if you uh, add iron chloride, any uh, unreacted salicylic acid is going to react with iron chloride and that solution should turn purple so what we're going to do is test to see if there's any unreacted salicylic, chlor uh, salicylic acid sorry, by adding a few drops of iron chloride to our aspirin sample. So here's the aspirin synthesis. We have salicylic acid reacting with acetic anhydride. We have sulfuric acid as a catalyst. And then here's my aspirin and leftover or as a byproduct is uh, acetic acid. So here we have some potential impurities that show up. Salicylic acid, acetic anhydride, and of course leftover acetic acid. By adding the iron chloride what we do is we're able to detect any leftover salicylic acid because the iron chloride solution will turn purple. When that solution turns purple um, depending on how deep the purple color is that's going to tell us how much salicylic acid is actually left over so here what we want to do is um, go back in here. So the maximum amount of salicylic acid that's allowed for commercially available aspirin is 0.15%. So if we compare the aspirin that we made to commercial aspirin, if the aspirin that we made is darker in color, then that indicates that there's more leftover salicylic acid in that in our aspirin than there is in the commercial aspirin and if that's the case then our aspirin does not meet the necessary quality um, requirements so here's the uh, just an example of what the actual purity test was going to look like so if you look to the left you see commercial aspirin and then our synthesized aspirin and in all honesty we expect the synthesized aspirin to be a little bit dark in color because um, the just the quality and the purity standards are not as rigorous in a organic chemistry lab uh, like they would be at Bayer or uh, some other aspirin manufacturer and so we expect it to be darker so you can see even in this example the synthesized aspirin is a little bit darker than the commercial aspirin and so what we're going to do is compare what we purify to the commercial brand ask the question is it lighter is it darker and then what can you conclude about the purity based on that is it less pure 
or is it as pure as commercial aspirin? So in summary, what we're going to do is um, compare commercial aspirin to our purified aspirin. We're going to take the pH of the commercial and the purified aspirin using pH paper. Um, and we're going to compare that uh, using a pH color chart to determine the pH of our aspirin. Um, we're going to test the purified aspirin for purity using iron chloride, which is going to tell us how much salicylic acid is actually left over. Um, there's actually a really neat experiment that we could do uh, using a SPEC-20, but we'll probably have to do that another time. And then we're going to make a comparison of the aspirin that we synthesized versus the aspirin that's, um, that you can buy in the store and make those comparisons in your data section. You know, how, was it really deep purple? Was it light purple? Did it almost match um, the purple color of the commercial aspirin? I mean, all those things you can talk about in your data section. And then ask the final question, is your aspirin safe to ingest? The answer is probably no. And just as a disclaimer, um, we are not to ingest the aspirin that we made. It's not pure enough. So with that being said, if you got any questions, just shoot me an email. Thanks.